<laughs> Check me out. I am going to Xenosaga. I want to see Carflo and Hayes, and we got it right oh, here. Losers top 12. It's going to be a good one. A barn burner, a blockbuster, maybe a nail biter. Perhaps nail biter. This is where Hayes coming right back to the scene. Coming in from New Jersey, of course, and Carflo coming from a beautiful vacation in Japan and leveling up as a player, may I say. Clap in the chat for him, please. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to be, and hopefully, as many of New York players have learned, sometimes a trip to Japan is all you need to win Genesis. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what they're practicing over there, but it's working. It's working. Oh, no, it's called patience, a little bit of s s politeness. I don't right. know, but <laughs> with all that to boot, Hayes is still kind of in the lead here by a sizable margin. Ooh. Carflow now has that Glimit uh, ready and active. He loves using that Glimit Blade Beam whenever he can, and he loves using the crosshairs as well, but Hayes not going to get angry. Anything started. Oh, there it is! The blade beam I was talking about. Yeah, Hayes is so good at keeping that pressure up. We saw it right there. Even the little banana extensions just to keep car flow in the hit stun, but blade beam did kind of break it up a little bit. Now, from a sheer matchup perspective, Hayes is Ooh. all about two major things, being banana traps at ledge, as we just saw there. He's very, uh, very proponent of using the banana offensively rather than reactively. And two, it's all about the mobility. So forcing Carflow to try and swing preemptively, as we're seeing with that up smash, it was only going to make for some big openings and big whiff punishes if Hayes can play his movement correctly. You're absolutely right. And Hayes is doing that beautifully right now. Again, Hayes at 98%, sub 100, but Carflow still struggling to find that finishing blow. This banana has been a big factor in how this matchup is being played, and Hayes is playing around it so beautifully. We get the first down throw of the day coming from Carflow, but can we get anything off of it? Maybe not. No, I like the idea to try and punish that banana pull, but not quite fast enough. Going to see if we can force the limit. No, makes it back to the ledge just fine. They're both going to reset, trying to get that banana back in hand. It's been so good for Hay as we saw it cut off so many different avenues and leading some really good command grabs as well. But it's going to be one more reset here. Yeah, I'm, I'm just so big on Hayes, like finding these punishes on clouds falling aerials, which are normally not a thing you can reliably <laughs> punish. But he's in there, he's finding the quick landing frames, understanding the differences between a full hop pair versus a short hop, all of this stuff. The dash stack does close out the stock though for Carflow, oh, able to even up the stock, even up the set count. Let's see if Hayes is able to find a quick retaliation. That blade beam though, as you keep mentioning, Mont, like it's been coming in clutch for Carflow just as a means to get back to stage. Absolutely. And Hayes also understanding that as a character, I can run away from it with, with enough time to shield right through it as well. Hayes is still at a really good spot. Sub 10% here with two stocks to go. 169 on Carflow. Nice. And unfortunately, it's just not going to be enough to get that stock uh, away from Carflow quite yet. Hayes still fighting for that, uh, that stock right now. Will this do it? Not even. Yeah, monkey flip. I'm always like, I don't know, maybe oh. 200, but that'll do it. <laughs> really good bay with the banana. It's still feeling close, though. The momentum definitely speaks to a very different story than the score does right now. I think Carflow kind of finding the groove a little bit more as the game goes on, kind of working around the bananas and the monkey flips a lot more effectively like we're seeing right there. But big monkey kick from Hayes opens up the stage. Yeah, just little things like that in order to find your way back onto stage. Like little timing mix up, spacing mix up, skipping the ledge entirely in that moment. But he was able just to get off stage as quickly. No, get back on stage rather. No, he is not in that one moment. Let's see if these wall back airs finding back to center, yet re-cornering himself. Hayes a little bit too eager in order to find the reversal hit and get the party started, rather than just taking his space. You yeah. see Carful kind of throwing out this big old sword wherever he can, which is what Cloud does really well, but Hayes is finding ways to dance around it. And even then, the drop down from the ledge, the monkey flip coming through the command grab, and now that banana is set up, but there we find it. The last finally, the finalizing hit of the second stock gone. Now, relatively even here, arguably. Okay, nice. We gotta go for the extra banana pull. That last one did end up making contact with the platform. Nearly full limit gauge here for car flow. Could be a good way to get some damage, even just to get the blade beam to try and get some room to breathe here, because Hayes is all over him right now. Oh, that four tilt was punishing something I was just going to bring up. Carflow is a greedy motherfucker. And <laughs> he wants to get back to ledge without burning limit nine times out of ten. So when you see some of these drifts, the up smash does close out of the stock. When you see Carflow just like drifting to stage uh, with full limit charge, you can almost guarantee he's never going to burn limit to snap to ledge. And you can throw out one of Diddy's meaty uh, tilts, either with forward tilt or down tilt, just like cover that space and try and intercept him and force him to burn the limit. Uh, or even edge guard a cloud with that as jump. Uh, alas, the forward tilt whiff. But 
Hayes is still able to wrap up this game with a solid conversion down tilt into an up, or just a raw up smash. Yeah, after basically forcing the dodge with yeah. a pretty well spaced banana throw. You're kind of in that spot where you're like, is it going to hit me if I'm hanging on the ledge or not? I, I got to jump to get out of here. Oh no, he knew I was going to jump. <laughs> yeah. And it happens, but now we've gone over this game two. This is, of course, uh, first of three, best of five, and we're going over a small battlefield, which is very, very um, interesting to see. We want to tighten that space up a little bit for car flow, and it's clearly showing out very well. That big old sword is now hitting a lot more surface area than you would expect, and Hayes is getting hit by everything in the kitchen sink. The up beyond the ledge is going to be forcing Hayes back into a really weird position where now, again, we're back into that corner, and now finally the reverse of positioning here is really good, and we utilize that limit cross a little bit too early in my opinion, but we can get it back really easily. Carpo probably thinking like, this is why I only blade beam. <laughs> that cross slash is not it. Oh no. Oh. That was not it either. <laughs> that was not it either, Bestie. Yeah. So I like to call some of these characters that can be edge guarded reliably, but have means to make it back. I call them soap bubble characters. Okay. Because Explain. <laughs> speak on that, yeah. The, the when you put one of these characters off stage, all you need mm -hmm. to do is poke them once. Okay. And oh gone. yeah. And the bubble pops and they're done. Mm. <laughs> and they're done. Okay. They fall to the floor and they die. <laughs> like speaking the bubble, of. yeah. Please. Oh, yeah, speaking of, Hayes died. <laughs> That's all I want to say. Oh, okay. Hayes died. I mean, yeah. Diddy Kong might be a, he might be bubble adjacent. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we need a tier the list. Sub genre. Can, you get a, yeah, can you get a PowerPoint on my desk by Monday? <laughs> Got you. Right. 8 a.m. Please, no sooner no later. <laughs> CC mod also. But please, I want no more. <laughs> one thing I love about this stage pick too, the platforms are a little closer to the ledge in a way that's good for car flow too. Like we we see in the situation where the banana gets stuck at the ledge, car flow almost always has to jump. So at least now the platforms are in a way where you can kind of mix up where you're going to jump and dodge to a little bit more, but gonna be tough right now still trying to find that big hit it's gonna be the up air to open it up and maybe a blade beam is on the horizon sometimes i'm crazy with it just you're kidding. just crap this is why we do our job you're just kind of cracked that what our players have been watching for you know four years right. do and do very well Carful is still me all the way off stage. There's a really kind of pop, and we barely make it back with the magnet hands to that ledge. Carful is somehow having a little oh. bit of plot armor, but getting tripped one, not once but twice, and Hayes still unable to follow through effectively enough. 152 on Carful, anything can happen, and the out smash is going to be scooping up into that blast zone. I yeah, want to so. point out real quick that just as a reminder, this is best of three. We're out. Yes, this is, my this bad. is one match that's outside of top eight. So, I oh, this is best of three, Greg is losing top yeah, 12. We, yeah. As yeah. I mentioned, because I knew. Yeah, first to two, yes. My bad. Yeah. So, Carflow on tournament stock. No, Carflow is going to be fine. Yeah. He'll just simply okay. uh, <laughs> just okay. win for I it. cast yeah, Curse. Yeah. <laughs> curse of Raw! <wrong. laughs> well, Even. Yeah, just back down to the wire. Now, both of them on the last stock of this game, but. We'll see how it goes. I love the neutral air right there from Hayes and the oh my god, the spacing on the side special with the platform cancel, keeping that pressure up. Like I said, just so good at all of that offense. Yeah, it, Hayes is like kind of built to be an offensive player and utilizes his playstyle in combination with Diddy's defensive tools, almost as like an auto conditioning. Like you know that Carflow is going to start playing around Banana whenever it's in Hayes's hand by doing a lot of jumps and playing a lot of platforms. So this entire stock has just been, hey, what if I rising Ooh. aerial? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what if I just do this instead? What if of I this? just like hit you while you jump? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And still, Hayes and I'm sorry, Carflow is still keeping it extremely even here. I mean, anything can happen, but down to is a beautiful. Beautiful start to Hayes's W, and that's the W I'm talking about. What happened? Let's talk about it. I will never anger Devin 3000 <laughs> in my <laughs> life. I wasn't familiar with the power that Devin held, but the curse <laughs> immediately came to fruition. Hayes with a big meaty forward tilt like we had talked about. Yeah. Really extending that ledge pressure and the edge guard and taking it over car flow. Moving on to loser side of the bracket. Yeah, and after it was after a pretty quick start to the game for Carflow, it was like the instant value off of the close so stages. Good. But then you know sometimes sometimes the bubble just gets popped. <laughs> so, yeah. One metaphor. <laughs> sometimes you pop someone's bubble, and that's right. okay. We could say something else, Metaphors. but <laughs> we're still here. <laughs> oh, we could pop a lot of things, but it's a okay around here. So. Like you have mentioned, it was really going in favor for Carfo, and I feel like near the end he was starting to ramp up a lot of that aggression that we know Carfo to be. It kind of reminiscent, it's very reminiscent of when he played Roy a lot. Um, very aggressive player, does not care, is in your face, swinging that sword around and trying to make you accidentally fall into him. 
Um, but Hayes was, I feel like, kind of just a better player in this moment. And it just, I think it's really huge, personally, because Hayes doesn't come around here that often. And so to see Hayes come through and kind of upset a really, really, like, kind of a titan of a, of a character that Carflu does play, um, very, solid very fist, nice. Solid fist bump. Yeah. Good. Good fist bump. That, that was a very good fist bump. Right?